part on behalf of our association. As you must have seen in the background, this is a beautiful temple in heart of Harrow, which has connected all the Jain community from UK, Ireland, India, and the world. We are open daily for darshan from 8 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. I am also proud to say that Abhishek is performed daily and urge everyone to take part when convenient. It's a wonderful ceremony and a soothing start to your day. We also prepare Asht Dravya and up to 50 people take part in daily puja with melodious chanting, Gurudev CD Pravachans are also played every day and one live with one lecture conducted daily. On the weekend, the temple is buzzing with the sound of young children and adults who came or who come to take part in the Patshala and classes. We also organize a number of events regularly, such as Kids Puja, Namokar Mantra Jap, Bhakti Evenings, not to forget the celebrations for special occasions like Mahavir Bhagwan Janma Kalyanak, Shamawani Parva, Gurudev Janma Jenti, Das Lakshan, Ashtanika, Shrut Panchmi, Diwali, and many more. Photos of these events have been shared on screen for you to see. We don't realize that being away from India and due to our Utkrashd Punya, we can get the love or the benefit of a Pratishtit temple in London to celebrate and live by the principles defined by Lord Mahavir and maintain a religious routine in our daily life. All the details of our location and activities can be accessed on our website, mahavirjaintemple.com. That's all one word. Everyone is welcome to the temple and look forward to seeing you all once everything is back to normal. Finally, I would like to thank all our cultural committee, especially Jignesh, Nirav, Ruchi, Darshika, Charu, Shitalbai, and all the participants for organizing this groundbreaking event in a short space of time. Please enjoy rest of the program, and I will now hand over to the host. Please stay safe. Jai Jinendra. Thank you, Sandeep Bhai. You have given a great insight into some of the great activities that take place at the London Mandir. As you mentioned, we have a thriving patchala running at our Mandir, and we have some fantastic kids who come through our Mandir doors on uh, every Sunday. Today, we have some performances by our patchala kids. We will start with kids from our youngest batch who will be delivering the story of Puja Kanji Swami. You should listen carefully as there may be some questions in the quiz that we have later that relate to this story. So please pay attention. Shall I start, Nina? Yes. Yeah. Jai Jinendra, everyone. This is Pratyush Shah. Pratyush is going to tell us about the Kanji Swami. Go on, Pratyush. Come on. Sri. Sri Kanji Swami was born on. 21st April 1890 in Umrala, Gujarat to mother Ujamba and father Moti Chandhai in Shwetambar Stanakwasi family. Shall we, shall we cut 
Goswami was born on 21st April 1890 in Umbrella, Gujarat, to Mother Jampampada Mati Chandabai and Shurodambas Swanathan, the Kavasi family. Moving on to Ahan Jain, please. Darshika, you can mute yourself. Auntie. Oh, we can't hear you, Ahan. <laughs> Start again. Yes, please. Here. No problem, ma'am. Okay, so some te technical problems. I, I'll yeah. just read his part out. Yep. Yeah. He, jo he joined his father's gro grocery business at the age of 17 while running the shop. The time between attending customers was spent reading scripture. Ganji would also close up shop when Jain monks would come to town so that he could look after their needs and to listen to their discourses. Hello. Jai Jayendra, everyone. My name is Sachi, and today I'll be talking... No, no, Sachi, it's not your turn. It's Ashi Vora's turn. Ashi. He told his elder brother Kushal Bai that he was he was not keen on marriage and took Stanak Vasi Diksha at the age of twenty-four. Jajaninda and um, I'm Anna. Um, from the beginning of his monkhood, um, Kanji Muni followed the path with a clear objective of self-realization. He identified inconsistencies and departures from the principles in Shwetamba books and scriptures and concluded that the true path, path to self-realization was not in these scriptures. Thank you, Arnav. Ayushi? Thank you, Nanda, everyone. My name is I use. After in the depth of study of some and then Mokshmak Prakashak by Bandit Dr. Mauti Gurudev Kanji Swami decided to leave Danapas Thank you, Ayushi. Vartika, please. In Songar, Gurudev Kanji Swami continued his studies and lectured regularly for 45 years. The lectures were mostly focused on the nature of the soul and how to experience the soul. Thank you, Vartika. Swamiya, please. Gurudev Kanji Swami explained the concept of Mithyatva as the core reason for endless births and deaths. Thank you, Swamiya. Arihan, please. Jai Janendra, my name is Arihan. Gurudev studied nearly 200 scriptures and lectured on many of them. However, the one Shastra that Gurudev lectured on continually was Samesa. At the time of the way, in 1980, he had been lecturing on Samesa for the time. In private, Gurudev had 
read some is a countless time thank you aryan arna please even the gurudev is not physically with us his recorded lectures and transcripts are with us so let us all make the most of his this opportunity to understand ourselves before our time to depart this world is over if we do so we will meet up again with gurudev on the path to salvation jajanand thank you anna nero back to you um it's such sweet uh, storytelling from our future stars we know the mandir future is really very bright with these kids on board i will uh, just call out the children's name in order of appearance um, to begin with it's pratyush shah then ahan jain ashi vora arnav jain ayushi shah vartika jain saumya shah arihant jain and arna shah what a lovely performance you kids all have done by the way you can leave comments in the zoom chat and let us know how you are enjoying this program too we now have a lovely bhakti that will be sung by karishma khara who is one of our patshala mom so over to you karishma thank you <coughs> कुछ गुरुदेव न होते तो आज क्या होता सत्य दर्शन का सूर्य अष्ट हो गया होता कुछ गुरुदेव न होते तो आज क्या होता सत्य दर्शन का सूर्य अष्ट हो गया होता कुछ गुरुदेव ने सुधात्म तत्व समझाया कुछ गुरुदेव ने परमात्म तत्व फरमाया कुछ गुरुदेव ने पूजा सिराग जलवाया कुछ गुरुदेव ने मुक्ति का पंथ बतलाया सुध शैलात्मी रूप जो न दिखाया होता सत्य दर्शन का सूर्य अष्ट हो गया होता कुछ गुरुदेव न होते तो आज क्या होता सत्य दर्शन का सूर्य अष्ट हो गया होता आपने ही तो समय सार पढ़ना सिखलाया सर्व संसार में धर्मामर बतलाया आपसे ही तो मोक्ष मार्ग प्रकाश कटाया लाखों आत्मा को आपसे ही विदर्शन होता सत्य दर्शन का सूर्य अष्ट हो गया होता पूज गुरुदेव न होते तो आ क्या होता सत्य दर्शन का सूर्य अष्ट हो गया होता जय जितेंद्र Wow, that was an, an amazing bhakti, Karishma. Um, I, I actually, we, you've been coming to our um, Pashala classes with your daughter, and I, I didn't actually know that we had such talent in in that classroom. So we'll be using that in the future for sure. Uh, we hope you all enjoyed that wonderful bhakti. Remember to keep commenting in the chat window so that we know how much you're enjoying this. We now have another Pachala performance. This time, our older batch. They will be teaching us about the Bar Bhavna, a subject that is so relevant to the situation we find ourselves in today. Over to you guys. Jayanda, 
I am Adi Gudka, representing the Haro Temple Intermediate Pachala Group. Today, my friends will be presenting the Bar Bhavna with their best effort. So what is Bar Bhavna? Actually, these are the feelings or thoughts about, this real, uh, about the reality of this world. Many of our Mudnis and Vidwans have tried to put these 12 feelings in their own words and, and in the it's best way. Most of you must be knowing of the very of the popular ones written by Sri Dorat Ramji, Sri Mangat Ramji, Sri Sri Buddhadasji, Sri Jay Chandaji Chabala, and Srimad Raj Chandra. Jay Chandra, thank you. Jay Chandra, everyone. My name is Sachi, and today I'll be talking about Anitya Bhavna. Raja Rana Chhatrapati Hathiyan Ke Asavar Marna Sabko Ek Din Apani Apani Bar Anitya means that which is not stable. This world is not stable, which means whatever we are seeing is destructible. We have to remember whether one is Prince Charles, Virat Kohli or Ronaldo, Everyone, including them, has to die one day when his turn will come. Sri Mangat Ramji asked that where have those Chakravati kings gone who had conquered the entire Bharat Shetra? Where are those Ram and Lakshman who had killed powerful Ravan and that all their wealth and the town made of gold? They are not present today. So the Anandya Bhavna says that nothing is forever or permanent in this world. Let us use this time available for religion. Spiritual values are therefore worth striving for a soul's ultimate freedom and stability. Unless we aim and achieve salvation, this cycle will never stop. Thank you and Jai Jinendra. Jai Jinendra. My name is Alan and today I will be talking about Ashran Bhavna. Dalabala Devi Devata Mata Pita Parivan Dalabala Devi Devata Mata Pita Parivan Marti Bilia Jeeva Ko Koinalakan Har Leprani Koinalakan Har Ashran means no shelter or no protection. No jeep can be saved from death by anyone or any means. And this is unavoidable choose. At any time of death, our relatives, friends, doctors cannot save us and anyone. Today, with COVID-19, we are all experiencing that all the world's medical science and research are proving no match for small virus. Under this reflection, the only way one can conquer death and disease is by destroying all its karma. In order to achieve total freedom and enlightenment, one needs to take refuge to the true path of religion and five permissions. Arihan, Jid, Acharya, Upadya, and Sadhu. So Ashran Bhavna tells us that we should not believe anyone as a shelter or protector. Our self soul is the only true shelter for us. Jid Mentor, thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Javish and today I will be talking about Sansar Bhavna. Dama bina niradanduki, Trishna vasadhanavan, Kahu nasaka sansara me, sabajagade chan. Sansar means this world. Because of lack of wealth, a poor is unhappy. But a rich is also unhappy as he has greed for more and more. This world cannot give us happiness. Not only this world, but all the four gatis. Where the soul comes in and out are full of grief. Under this reflection, we should think this world as sorrowful and divert ourselves towards our self soul, which is, which is the real and eternal cause of joy to us. The soul must achieve ultimate freedom, which is liberation or moksha. So, 
The Sansar Bhavna tells us to think of this world as sorrowful and get rid of this vicious cycle of birth and death. Jai Janendra. Hi, Vincent. Jai Janendra, everyone. My name is Vincent, and I'm going to be talking about the Ekatra Bhavna. Apa akela avatare, mare akele hoi. Yoga bahu is a jeeva ko, sati sagana koi. Ekatva means oneself is alone, or rather, the self soul is alone or solitary. We meet a lot of people in office, on a plane, or on Facebook. We meet the so called family in a life. However, we have to leave them and all go, to, go all alone after death, and we don't know whether we'll meet them again or not. The soul assumes birth alone and departs alone from this world. The soul is responsible for its own actions and karmas based on which it will enjoy the fruits and suffer the bad con consequences. Under this reflection, one thinks that the soul is solitary and lonely in existence. Then why I am loving others more than my soul? Soul is the only companion of mine and I must starve hard to clean it. Soul is real friend and will not leave me. So the Ikatva Bhavna means self-soul and other souls all are self all alone in themselves. Thank you for listening. Jai Janendra. Jai Janendra. My name is Avi and I'm going to be talking about Anyatva Bhavna. Jaha de apni nahi, taha na apna koi. Ghar sampati par prakati hai. Per hai parijan loy. Anyatva means to have difference and distinctness. Anya means the other. Today we all love our house, Tesla cars, and Instagram followers and likes on social media. Such we adore all the material things around us. Due to ignorance and misconceptions, we search for happiness in worldly things, and hence our life is just like a deer who searches for water in the dry desert. Under this reflection, one has to understand that the soul is different and the body is different. Soul is knowledgeable, while the body cannot have knowledge. Even the physical body is also not our own. So the Anyatva Bhavna means that the soul is distinct from all others. Thank you. Jai Janendra. Jai Janendra. My name is Naisha and today I'm going to talk about the sixth Bhavna, Ashuchi Bhavna. Deepe chama chadar mari har pinjarate hitar yasam jagat me or nahi kinake. Ashuchi simply means impure. Today we see and follow a lot of celebrities, some of who could have enhance their appearance using fake obesity treatments and even we get tempted to perform the same treatments on our own body. We do not realize that the elements of one's body is made up of impure things like blood, bones, flesh, etc. And it also generates impure things like perspiration, urine and stool. Under this reflection, one has to understand to that the soul which resides within the body remains unattached to the body and therefore one should not waste time to decorate the body but instead should concentrate on cleaning of one's soul. So the Ashuchi Bhavna means that we could not waste our precious human life running after this impure body because it is not worthy of our attachment. Jai Janindra and thank you. My name is Dashi and I'm going to Jijinendra. My name is Dashi and I'm going to talk about the Arsarav Bhavna. Mohaninda Kejor, Mohaninda Kejor, Jagvasi Gunisita, Karma Chorcha Hu or Karma Chorcha Hu or Serva Slute Sudnehi. Arshav means the incoming or influx of the karmas. We may have heard about the tra tragic story of the Titanic cruise ship, which did not complete its journey due to a hole caused in the ship, leading seawater flooding and drowning the ship. 
Through our thoughts, speech, and actions, one generates pop, punyas, and pops, due to which there occurs vibrations in the soul that causes an influx of new karma. Under this reflection, one should think more about karma streaming into the soul every time one enjoys or suffers something through the five senses. It accumulates more karma. Hence, we must be careful to avoid additions of negative deeds to oneself soul. So, the Arshra Bhavna means the influx of karmas and one should try to get away from it. Jai Jinendra and thank you. Jai Jinendra, my name is Ashish and today I'm going to talk about the 8th Bhavna, Sambha Bhavna. Sata Guru Deya Chakaya, Sata Guru Deya Chakaya. Mohaninda Japa Upashame, Tapa Kachubani Upaya, Tapa Kachubani Upaya, Karma Chora Avata Ruke. Samvar means stoppage of the influx of the karmas. In our houses, we could experience a water leak that could be very harmful and requires us to put a stopper on the hall to prevent any further entry of water. In the same way, when the soul has feelings of attachment or hatred, then the influx of uh, ashrav of karmas occurs and it binds to the soul. So we can't be completely free atma and attain true happiness. But if the soul avoids any feelings of attachment or hatred, then it can stop the influx of karma. Under this reflection, one thinks about stopping evil thoughts and becomes absorb, absorbed in achieving spiritual knowledge and meditation. This prevents the influx of karma. So the Samva Bhavna means stoppage of influx of all types of all type of karmas, whether it's punya or pap. Jai Jinanda, thank you for. Okay, um, Gajanendra, my name is Soham, and today I will be presenting the Nijra Bhavna to you. Jnana deep tapate labhar ghasho de brahmachur, yavidi binnik se nahi bethe pura bachur, pancha mahavrita sancharan, samiti pancha parakar, prabala pancha indriya vijay, dhara nijra sar. Nijra means shedding of the karma particles. Continuing from our example of water leak, whereby we have put a stop to the hole to prevent any new entry of water. But what about the water which is already accumulated in this house? With this water inside the house, it would not be possible to live unless either this water is evaporated by the sun or we ourselves work hard to throw out this accumulated water. Accumulated water. Under this reflection, one thinks about the evil conflict or consequences of karma and strives to destroy the previously acquired karma by austerity and meditation. Hence, a soul should do penance or tapas with samvar, which by which the shedding of karmas is accompanied with the stoppage of influx of new karmas. So the Nijara Bhavna tells us that with intentional shedding of karmas, the soul can get free of all his karmas and can attain moksha. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you and Jai Janin. Jai Janin. My name is Ananya and I'm going to be talking about the Lok Bhavna. Jodhara Jodanganabha Loka Purusha Santan Tame Jeeva Anadite Lok means he part of the universe, in which all the six substances, viz, soul, matter, and energy, term, adharm, are gash or space, and gal or time resides. Pandit Dolatramji said that this lok has not been created by anybody and nobody is holding it up. It existed from the beginningless time from on its own and no one can destroy it. Nobody is the doer or the director of this lok. Under this reflection, one thinks about the real nature of this universe. One has to think about what is this lok in reality and why he is roaming about from one birth to another. When the, when the purifying fire of penance is lightened, has lightened the soul, it will leave the, this world and reside in itself. 
So the Lord Bhavna tells us to meditate on the Lord and get our doubts clear and think about how to attain self-salvation. Thanks for listening. Jajnan. Jajnanendra. My name is Adisha and I will be doing the 11th, 11th um, Bhavna, which is Bodhi Dhula. Bodhi means knowledge and Dhula means attain with a lot of difficulties and that too is very rare. For the infinite times this soul has taken so many births but because of the lack of right knowledge he never got joy or happiness. This right knowledge is very difficult and rare and the soul is due to his purush, purushwat or effort. Under this reflection one thinks that it is very difficult for the soul to acquire right faith right knowledge and right conduct in this world. Therefore, when one has the opportunity, which is a human birth within a good country and family with right faith, one should utilize it to this opportunity to its fullest. Losing such an opportunity would equate with the example of a jewel being lost in the sea. And we know how hard it would be to get it back from the sea. So Bodhidhula Bhavna tells us that right faith and right knowledge are very difficult and rare to attain. One to ten, we must ensure to follow them as right conduct and attain Gevel Gyan and Moksh. Thank you, J.G. Nandra. J.G. Nandra, I am Riti and today I will be talking about Dharambhavna. Jache Sura Tarudaya Sukha Chintata chinta ren bin jache bin chinte dharma sakala sukadena. The dharma has a lot of definitions in Jainism, but the ultimate reality to which all those definitions lead to is vastu swabhava iti dhamo. As said by Sri Bhagwan Kunkund Acharya, means the nature of a substance is its term. The nature of our soul is to know and see, so to be in this is our dharm. Dharm gives us real happiness and makes us free from the sorrows and attain salvation. Pandit Dolat Ramji says that Samyak Darshan, Samyak Gyan and Samyak Charitra is dharm. The soul who follows all these three will attain moksha or salvation and will enjoy his eternal bliss forever. Under this reflection, one thinks that the true teacher, religious scriptures and religion are excellent shelters in this world full of agony. Now it is crystal clear to me that there is no other shelter than correct religion where I can surrender to end my sufferings. Fortunately, I got Jainism and I pray to have the same religion in all my next births. Jai Janendra and thank you. Wow, all of, all of the kids have been so impressive today. Will you agree that too with me? And they have taught us what we should be doing in this difficult hard time, especially with COVID-19 and it's staying indoors. I think we should be uh, going, uh, rather than going outside, going inside. Is that correct? I should also mention that at this point, that the idea of for this event only came last Monday evening. So everything that you see today has been pulled together by our team in a very short time. The kids, in fact, have had a only few days to prepare. So we are so proud of what they have delivered today. Um, they, they have really taught us good lesson what we should be doing. Now we move from our children's performance to our residence lecturer, Sheetal Bhai, who will give us a short talk on importance of listening to Gurudev's lecture. Over to you, Sheetal Bhai. Um, so, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, can we have a conclusion of the Bar Bhavna by Sona? Over to you, Sona. My name is Sona. We have finished our we have finished our, our presentation of all the twelve bhavanas. 
as said in Janvani. We hope that you will be able to learn this bhavana and follow on your journey to attain moksha. We would also like to take this opportunity and thank our teachers at the Pachala who work tirelessly in teaching kids and adults of all ages throughout the year. Thank you, NJ Janinda. Over to Sheetal by now. Thank you, Sona. Uh, can you uh, can everyone hear me? Yes? Can people hear me? Hello? Yes, Sheetal, yes, we, yes, we can hear you. Okay. Is Pancham Kalme, Hamko Kyal Nai hai, Ki Ham Kitne Bhagya Shali hai, Ki Hamko Jain Dharma Ki Prakti Mili hai, Kyoki Hamko Sad Guru Dev Mile, Is Liye Hamko Bahot Asari se ये जैन धर्म मिल गया है लेकिन आचार्य देव बहुत सारे शास्त्रों में व्याख्या करते हैं कि इस पंचम काल में धर्म प्राप्त करना बहुत बहुत दुर्लभ है लेकिन गुरुदेव से बजाय ये हम पंचम काल तो नहीं कर सकते हैं गुरुदेव के बजाय ये चतुर्थ काल हो गया है आचार्य देव योगेंद्र देव 1500 वर्ष पुराने वो लिखते हैं परमात्मा प्रकाश में गाता है 139 उसमें वो लिखते हैं कि पंचम काल में क्यों धर्म प्राप्त करना इतना दुर्लभ है और चौथे काल में धर्म प्राप्त करना बहुत आसान क्यों था वो उसका खुलासा गाता 139 में करते हैं तो वे लिखते हैं कि चतुर्थ काल में तो इस क्षेत्र वो, वो वो तो पहले लिखते हैं कि जो धर्म पंचम काल में करते हैं वे तो एक जगत के अचंबा है एक्सट्रीमली रेयर पर्सन है जो धर्म को प्राप्त कर सकता है इस पंचम काल में क्योंकि पंचम काल में जीव कैसे होते हैं तो बहुत मायाचारी जीव होते हैं बहुत हिंसक परिणामी बहुत आरंभी परिग्रह परिग्रह संबंधी जीव होते हैं इसलिए इस काल में धर्म की भावना होना बहुत बहुत दुर्लभ है तो योगेंद्र देव परमात्मा प्रकाश में लिखते हैं कि चतुर्थ काल में कौन सी सामग्री थी कि इस काल में नहीं प्राप्त है और वो सामग्री होती थी तो चतुर्थ काल में धर्म क्यों इतना आसान था तो वे लिखते हैं फर्स्ट कारण चतुर्थ काल में तो इस क्षेत्र में देवों का आगमन था उनको देखकर धर्म की रुचि होती थी और न, ये पहला कारण हुआ देव लोग आते थे इनकी विधि देखकर जीव को सम्यक दर्शन प्राप्त होता था क्योंकि सम्यक दर्शन का एक कारण देव रिधि देखना वो भी एक कारण शास्त्रों में बताया गया है लेकिन गुरुदेव हमको मिले हैं वे देव रिधि तो नहीं दिखाई गुरुदेव ने गुरुदेव ने हमको चैतन्य रिधि दिखाई इसलिए हमारे लिए वे चतुर्थ काल को भी जो वर्तमान में पंचम काल है वो भी हमारे लिए चतुर्थ काल हो गया है दूसरा कारण ये है और नाना प्रकार की रिद्धियों के धारी महामुनियों का अतिशय देखकर ज्ञान की प्राप्ति होती थी जो जो चतुर्थ काल में रिद्धि धारी मुनिश्वर होते थे उनको देखकर सम्यक दर्शन की प्राप्ति तब होती थी तो हम हम हमारे गुरुदेव भी जब वो स्थानक वासी में थे शुरू शुरू में बहुत कड़क चारित्र वो पालते थे और उनको देख देखकर जीवों को धर्म की रुचि बहुत होती थी इसलिए वो ये ये, ये पंचम काल है ये भी हम भूल जाते हैं तीसरा कारण ये है कि चतुर्थ काल में अन्य जीवों को अवधि ज्ञान मन परियज्ञान केवल ज्ञान की उत्पत्ति देखकर सम्यक्तव की सिद्धि होती थी गुरुदेव के पास न तो मन परियज्ञान था न अवधि ज्ञान है और न केवल ज्ञान है लेकिन उसको चैतन्य चमत्कार का ज्ञान है उसकी जो उसके प्रवचन में स्पष्ट ख्याल में आता है उसका चैतन्य ज्ञान जो है वो देखकर हमको भी धर्म की रुचि होती है और इस पंचम काल में भी हमको धर्म प्राप्त होना बहुत आसान लगता है दूसरा कारण 
जिनके जिनके चरणा चरणा बिंदु को बड़े बड़े मुकुटधारी राजा नमस्कार करते थे ऐसे बड़े बड़े राजाओं को रा, राजाओं पर सेवनीय भरत सगर राम पांडव आदि अनेक चक्रवर्ती बलभद्र नारायण तथा मंडलिक राजाओं को जिन धर्म में लीन देखकर भव्य जीवों को जिन धर्म की रुचि उपजती थी क्या कहते हैं कि चतुर्थ काल में तो बड़े बड़े राजा थे वे भी जैन मुनियों को नमस्कार करते थे और उस ये, ये नमन देखकर अन्य जीव को भी धर्म में रुचि प्रकट होती थी तो हमारे को यहाँ जो बड़े बड़े धनपति है सेठ है पंडित है बैरिस्टर्स है डॉक्टर्स है बहुत बड़े बड़े पदवीधारी व्यक्ति है वो सब गुरुदेव के चरण में शीश झुकाते हैं इसको देखकर हम हमको भी धर्म की भावना जागृत होती है और हमको हम इस पंचम काल में है ये हम भूल जाते हैं दूसरा कारण तो क्या करते थे वो चतुर्थ काल वाले जीव परमात्मा भावना के लिए विद्यमान विषयों को त्याग करते थे और हम भी गुरुदेव का जीवन देखकर हम भी परिग्रह सीमित करते हैं और जब तक रस गृहस्थपने में रहते थे तब तक दान पूजा आदि शुभ क्रिया करते थे चौथे काल में ये शुभ क्रिया करना बहुत आसान थी हमको भी गुरुदेव से बजाय शुभ क्रिया करना बहुत आसान हो गया है चार प्रकार के संघ की सेवा करते थे इसलिए पहले समयों तो समय में तो ज्ञान उत्पत्ति के अनेक कारण थे ज्ञान उत्पत्ति होने का अचंबा नहीं था लेकिन अब तो चौथे काल में तो बहुत सारे कारण थे ये पंचम काल में हमारे पास बहुत सारे कारण ऐसा नहीं है लेकिन एक ही कारण है और वो कारण है पूज्य गुरुदेव कांजी स्वामी और ये एक कारण हमको पर्याप्त है हमको बहुत सारे कारण कारण की आवश्यकता नहीं है हमारे जीवन में कांजी स्वामी है तो हमारे जीवन में सब कुछ है हमको किसी की न्यूनता नहीं भाषित होती गुरुदेव श्री तीर्थंकर का द्रव्य है और वो पूर्व पूर्व में विदेश क्षेत्र से आए हैं और यहाँ जन्म ले चुके हैं तो उसने जो उसकी जो वाणी में जो आत्मा से स्पर्श कर वाणी निकलती है वो ही बताते थे कि वे महान उसका महान व्यक्तित्व है और वो तीर्थंकर होने वाले है उसने एक भी शास्त्र लिखा स्वयं ने लिखा नहीं है फिर भी अनेक प्रवचनों के माध्यम से उनकी वाणी चारों दिशाओं में फैली हुई है और दूसरी बात यह है कि 40 वो स्वर्गवास हो गए 40 वर्ष प्रीवियसली और 40 वर्ष के बाद भी लाखों लोग हर रोज गुरुदेव के प्रवचन सुनते हैं छोटे छोटे गांव में भी जो छोटे छोटे मंदिर होते हैं वहाँ भी गुरुदेव के प्रवचन चलते हैं और उसकी आत्मस्पर्श वाणी का जन जन तक लाभ पहुँचता है वो उस वो, वो बहुत बड़ी बड़ा देन है और गुरुदेव श्री नहीं होते तो हम हमको ये जैन धर्म प्राप्त होता कि नहीं होता ये प्रश्न चिन्ह हम स्वयं को पूछना चाहिए क्योंकि बहुत दुर्लभ हो जाता था गुरुदेव है इसलिए बहुत सुगम हो गया है बोले सतगुरु देव नो जय हो इधर समाप्त करता हूँ थैंक यू शीतल भाई आई होप यू ऑल आर इंस्पायर्ड बाय दैट टॉक नाउ देर हैव बीन अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग टॉक्स टूडे दैट वी शुड हैव गॉट यू थिंकिंग सो लेट्स स्टेप इन टू दैट थिंकिंग मोड एंड एंड ऑफ विद अ क्वीज फॉर विच आई विल हैंड ओवर टू रुचि शी विल पॉप ओवर सम क्वीज क्वेश्चन ओवर टू यू रुचि Jai Jinendra, everyone. Before we start the quiz, because this is a general uh, 
ground where we all can participate. I'll just quickly show you how you can participate. So in your Zoom screen menu, if you click on the participants option, a window will open. And from there, the, at the bottom right, there's an option called raise hand. So after I ask any question, just if you click on that button, then I can see, I will be able to see whether you want to answer that question or not. And then I can, either me or Charu will choose any participant and then you can answer the question. Once you have answered the question, just lower, click on lower hand so that I can see who, who wants to participate and who does not want to participate. So it is very simple. Open your participants window and there is one button, raise hand. Just click that to answer the question. एक बार हिंदी में भी बता देती हूँ पार्टिसिपेंट्स की विंडो सॉरी रुचि जस्ट टू स्टॉप दे एवरीबॉडी प्लीज डू नॉट रेज योर हैंड बिफोर द क्विज़ इस स्टार्टेड इट डज नॉट हेल्प अस थैंक यू सॉरी रुचि कौन एक बार हिंदी में भी बता देती हूँ कि एक आपकी ज़ूम की स्क्रीन पर एक पार्टिसिपेंट्स करके बटन लोअर राइट हैंड साइड पर लो रेज हैंड करके एक बटन है उसको सिर्फ क्लिक करना है वो बटन क्लिक किया तो हमें पता चलेगा कि आप वो आंसर देना चाहते हैं और फिर हम आपको सिलेक्ट करेंगे आंसर दे देने के बाद वापस उस बटन को क्लिक करोगे तो आपका हैंड लोअर हो जाएगा क्विज द क्विज इज अ शॉर्ट क्विज देयर नॉट मेनी क्वेश्चंस uh, I would not take a lot of time, but it is fun-filled quiz which we have designed for all age groups. So please stay with us for 10 more minutes at the max. Okay, so first question for you. This is a simple one. The kids can participate as well. Uh, Charu, can we have the first question on screen, please? How many tattvas are there and which are they? How many tattvas are there and which are they? Okay, uh, okay. Mr. Kirit Gandhi, uh, I will unmute you. You can go ahead and answer. Seven. The, the answer is correct and it looks like a family effort. Well done, Mr. Kirit Gandhi. So there are seven tattvas and they have been listed correctly. We'll move on to the next question. Bhagwan Bahubali was son to which Tirthankar? Uh, Jignesh, you want to pick up someone? Yes, uh, Smita, Smita, I have unmuted you. Yes, it is Adinath Swami, Adinath Bhagwan. That's correct. Thank you, Smita ji. Thank you. The next question on your screen. Uh, uh, can we go to the previous one? Which Parmeshti has the most number of Mulgun? Out of the five Parmesh Parmeshtis, which Parmeshti has the most number of Mulgun? Okay, Mr. Janav, please go ahead. Um, is it Arihan Parmeshti? Yes, that's correct, Janav. And do you know how many Gun Aryan Parmesh he has? I think it has four. No, it's 46. Therefore, oh. Arhan Parmesh he has 46 Mool Gun. But oh. the answer is correct. It's Arhan Parmesh he. Thank you, Janav. Thank you. The next question. 
who wrote gomatsar shastra and who wrote its bhasha tika gomatsar jeevkan gomatsar karmakand who wrote the shastra and its bhasha tika come on all the adults this one's for you there's only one hand raised um, i'll wait for three more seconds and then i'll pass it on to the person who's raised the hand one two three okay uh, kirit gandhi again uh, it's uh, yeah. uh, 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 no i unfortunately this isn't the right answer anybody else would like to have a go vinod bhai shah please is it uh, pandit todar mal ji pandit todar mal ji for what for writing gomatsar shastra bhasha tika yeah bhasha tika you are right partially that its bhasha tika was by pandit todar mal ji but who wrote gomatsar shastra jital shah do you want to have a try yeah yes uh gomatsar shastra was written by acharya nemichandra and bhasha tika was written by todar mal or pandit ji yes you you are absolutely right jital shah the gomatsar shastra was written by acharya nemi chandra nemi siddhant chakra varti and its bhasha there were there are four tikas but one of the tikas was the three were in sanskrit and the one in bhasha that's the popular language at of the time was done by pandit todar mal ji we'll move on to the next question so as you all know today is akshay tritya or akshay trij akha trij what is the significance of this day for jains okay lot of hands coming up mr jd mr jd gurka i'll unmute you now akshay tritya is the occasion when adinath bhagwan had his first um uh pepelo ahar dal ne mailu to shreyas nad shreyas kumar shreyas nad bhagwan raja shreyas nad ne sedi na rasti no ahar dal karay hu to e pan 13 mahina ne 9 divas pachi emne ahar dal hu the answer is absolutely correct thank you very much mr jd gutka so the, on this day adinath bhagwan uh, i mean muniraj adinath received ahar after a fasting of more than a year from raja shreyans okay can we move on to the next question yeah so when pujya gurudev shri became a digambar shravak it was a special day does anyone know what special day was it okay there is a iphone i have unmuted you please go ahead yeah um so that was on chaitra sutteras which is also known as mahavir jayanti Yes that's right that's a correct answer thank you can we move on to the next question please yeah state the names of five shastras written by acharya kundkund dev the panch parmagam which we, we also call panch uh, no as panch parmagam Okay. Um, lot of hands coming up for this. Uh, Mr. Sanjay Shah, please go ahead. Okay. Uh, Ruchi, did you get all of those? Uh, yes. Yes. I'm. I'm. Okay. Uh, that, that's correct, Mr. Sanjay Shah. The Panch Marmagam by Kunkun Dev. Okay. Okay. Um, 
state the name of the tika written by amritchandra acharya in samaisar so the name of the tika any more hands okay i'll i'll give it to jital shah again atmakhyati yes that, that's that's, yes that's correct it it's called atmakhyati tika uh, jignesh do we have time for more questions right uh, uh, yeah we can do couple okay, more okay that's fine yeah the, uh, uh, if possible the kids can answer if if they are able to Okay. I'll open it for I'll I'll prefer I'll I'll open it for kids as well. Yeah. Okay. Let Let's ask this one and then go to the easier ones. Yeah. Okay. So, the sixth gatha of Samaisar was very is very popular and close to uh, Pujya Guru Dev's heart as well. Anyone can recite the sixth gatha of Samaisar. Bandito Sobe Siddha. Okay, go ahead. Ila Ila Devi Ji, please go ahead. Yeah, Bandito Sobe Siddha. Akinati Alberti. Uh, Thank you. Okay, no problem. No, but uh, I'll pass it on to somebody else. Uh, uh, just give me one. Nipa, you are raising hand on the screen, but you need to raise it on Zoom. I did that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I know half. Nathi apramat ke apramat nathi je ek nyaya ek bhava che. Yes. Yeah, and I don't know the second line. Anyone wants to finish it off? Okay. Ke apramat nathi ek bhigaya ek bhava che. थैंक यू एवरी वन इट वॉज अ जॉइंट एफर्ट बट इवेंचुअली वी वी वेट वी रीच देर ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन प्लीज Yeah, that, that the previous one was uh, something which kids could have attempted. Yeah, uh, give the five names of Mahavir Bhagwan. Can we can we see all Balbodh hands now? <laughs> You're making it hard for me. I, I, I'll unmute all the kids together. Please, please. No, uh, no, no. Uh, okay, no. Just, okay, just sorry. Anyway. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes and press a uh, press a button. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so please forgive me if I if if I don't um, uh, you know if I don't see like you. I'm not being partial by any means here. Um, uh, sorry, just one second. Okay, these are all the lower hands, and then. Um, Okay, Ashi, please go ahead. Ashi, please go ahead if you're there. Okay, she's not there. Adi, Adi Shah, do you want to go ahead? Um, Veer, Ati Veer, Sanmati, Vadhamar, and Mahavir. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I was biased there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine. He didn't. We didn't get to see him. his video wasn't working while his speech yeah. so it's fine we got to see him now Th thank you adi that was perfectly right okay well, one more easy easy one we celebrated mahavir jayanti just recently so state the five kalyanak of any tirthankar bhagwan five kalyanaks what is it uh गर्भ जन्म तप नान मोक्ष दैट्स परफेक्टली राइट थैंक यू दर्शी वॉज इट दर्शी 
Yes, it was Darshi. Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you very much. So now we move on to our next question. Sure. Yeah. Why did Pujya Gurudev quit school? Okay. Soham, do you want to go ahead? Uh, yeah, I'm guessing because uh, he wanted to uh, focus on Jainism and meditate. Uh, not exactly not the really. answer I'm looking for. Um, just give me, let more hands come up and uh, I'll select somebody. Okay, uh, Ayushi. Ayushi? was not very good at No. Okay, uh, Sachi, do you want to go ahead? I think she's. Yeah, she is. Okay. I'll, I'll give it to uh, Jayanti Bias again. Yeah. JD, Mr. JD Gudka, Jayanti Bai, it's all yours. Oh, okay. okay. Um, કારણ કે સ્કૂલમાં જ્યારે એ ભણતા હતા ત્યારે વધારે પડતું પાઠશાળામાં એ ઇન્ટરેસ્ટ લેતા હતા ને ટીચરે એમ કીધું હતું એમને કે ભાઈ કે તમે પાઠશાળામાં ધ્યાન નહીં દો આ અભ્યાસમાં ધ્યાન આપો તો એમને એ ગયમું નહીં એમને કે પાઠશાળા મને માટે પેલું છે મારું ચોઈસ અને એટલે એમને સ્કૂલ મૂકી દીધી Mr. Gutka. So okay. the, 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 yeah. I think the, we should conclude down, yeah. Yeah, the, the thing is that his teacher told him off for not doing his homework because he was work spending more time on the Patshala work and then he thought that for him the Patshala work is the most important, so he can't just quit Patshala work. So this is something how we are different. From Pujya Guru Devshi, he gave first preference to Patshala and everything else came afterwards. And for us, we go to all classes, but then we think that Patshala is not that important. Patshala comes last for us. So we need to, this is something, a takeaway for us as well, for parents and children, everyone. We, we'll do, I think, three more questions. Uh, no, no, no. Jignesh. Let's Excellent. Come. Or should no, we? No, we'll, we'll finish there. We'll okay, that's now. fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so thank, uh, over to you, Nirav. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Ruchi. That was a very good quiz. Um, I hope everyone got to learn some things as well while they were um, trying to participate. So, with that, we bring this event to a close. I hope we, uh, you all, really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for making the time to uh, attend the session. And I know um, lots of effort went into. Um, preparing this in the last week and all the children in particular I, I want to really thank them from the bottom of my heart for all the effort that they've put into uh, preparing for today's session so thank you very much and thank you to all those that um, helped to make this event um, successful so please feel free to provide feedback on the event by dropping an email to the Monday email address uh, I think now Sandeep Bhai would, would want to share some um, words with you to close off also. So um, over to Sandeep Bhai. Jai uh, Jinnandar, everybody. I think uh, a very worthwhile effort for the first time. And I think the comments which I have seen, uh, we should continue uh, in some sort of form with Zoom video on other classes. and. Uh, Jai Jinnandra to everyone. Please stay. Thank you. Okay, thank you, everyone. We'll be ending the meeting soon. Thank you, everyone, again, for your time and effort and um, uh, joining the meeting again. Thank you so much. Uh, Jai Jinnandra. Uh, Jai Jinnandra.